Hi pals, this week on Go With The Heat, we took a week off to prepare our Season 1 recap of Miami Vice. We have three fantastic episodes lined up before we start Season 2. For the next three weeks, This Week in Vice will be covering the time between Season 1 and 2. On this week's episode of This Week in Vice, we'll be covering May 13th to June 16th, 1985, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on May 31st, a tornado outbreak wreaked havoc across the northeastern U.S. and Ontario, Canada. In total, 44 tornadoes were touched down, and it is the largest, most intense outbreak in this region. In total, 90 people were killed and millions of dollars in damages. In sports, on May 20th, Larry Holmes would retain the heavyweight title in a fight against Carl the Truth Williams. The fight ended in a controversial decision and was Williams' first title shot, although in his second shot, he wouldn't live up to his name as he was demolished by Mike Tyson. In music, the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 changes three times in this time span. For one week, Simple Minds' Don't You Forget About Me holds the top spot. This song is from the classic hit movie The Breakfast Club, which was played in the opening and closing credits of the film. Replacing Simple Minds for two weeks is Wham's gold certified Everything She Wants from the album Make It Big. The song was written and produced by George Michael. This is the second classic song from the album and the more I look back, the more I realize how much of a George Michael fan I am. Closing out the three number one hits and removing Wham from the top spot is the band Tears for Fears defining hit Everybody Wants to Rule the World. From the album Songs from the Big Chair, this song would hold the number one spot for two weeks. If I was to make an album to play for future generations to give insight to what the 80s was all about, this song would make the list. Holding the top spot for the week's covered in This Week in Vice is Rambo First Blood Part 2. I talked a little bit about this action classic last week. Rambo would hold the top spot for five weeks and have the highest weekend debut outpacing Beverly Hills Cop. But in this time frame, three great comedy movies would be released. On May 22nd, Brewster's Millions would hit the box office starring Richard Pryor and John Candy. Based on the 1902 book of the same name, this is the seventh film based on the story. The story revolves around Monty Brewster, a minor league baseball pitcher who inherits millions of dollars from his great uncle with a catch. He can take $1 million up front or spend $30 million in 30 days to inherit $300 million. Starring two comedy legends, it's one of my favorite 80s comedies. The week following, the action comedy film Fletch starring Chevy Chase was released and was a critical success. Now a cult hit, the film centers around a Los Angeles Times reporter who has offered a large payday to kill a millionaire with terminal cancer. When Fletch realizes the man is not sick, he finds his own life in danger. This is often considered Chevy Chase's best film. Then, on June 7th, one of the all-time classics was released. Directed by Richard Donner, The Goonies premiered. The film is centered around a group of preteens in Astoria, Oregon, who are attempting to save their homes from demolition. In the adventure, they discover an old Spanish map to unearth the lost treasure of One-Eyed Willie. With a great cast, including Sean Astin, Josh Brolin, Corey Feldman, and more, The Goonies is a fantastic adventure movie and carries its legacy generation after generation. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Over the next few weeks, our Go With The Heat podcast will be reviewing Season 1 of Miami Vice. Keep it tuned right here to find out everything that happened between the seasons. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.